It was crazy. You could fit like a lot of elephants in there. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I remember just walking in being like, oh God, this is so intense. We've been thinking about doing a video like this for a long time where I literally play every single element that goes on in this remix. It's just such a fun way to display my music because I, it's kind of like doing an in-the-studio video where you're seeing everything going on, but it's in, a, in the context of a really awesome video. So this is my first music video shoot and obviously it was amazing, but it was also very, very stressful. This was like six weeks from the initial idea to the final product and I had like some minor panic attacks halfway through where I was like, what if I can't play and it, it just looks awful and, and what if our concept doesn't fit the vibe of the song, but in the end, I have zero doubt about this at all. I mean, it, it would totally blow my expectations. Arthur's had our vision from the start. He, he's been on board with everything, and his whole idea has been exactly what we were looking for. So the set design is mainly inspired by Dan Flavin Works, who wrote a lot of his like, tubes of light. So we have uh, three different universes. Each different scenario for the lighting fixtures kind of explains a different world within the song. So we have the red universe who showcases more electronic instruments. And then the blue world was the stringed instrument kind of thing, like the, the bass guitar and the lead guitar and the rhythm guitar. And for the green world, we only did handheld, so it kind of plays into the experimental vibe of it. So this music video was the first one for Pierce, but I think like Pierce was great and it was like very interesting to work with him during the set, to push him to do his best, to play well with the camera. He's just been so cool about everything and he, he pulled a lot of stuff out of me that I normally wouldn't do. So I'm, I'm not the best actor, but he's like, come on, give me, give me emotion, like tilt your head back, like get into it. And, and I needed that because if not, I would have just been like quiet and doing my thing. He's like, hit it harder, hit it harder. I don't care if you miss the notes, like hit it harder, like, it was just fun to have someone like him being like, who cares? No, don't focus on that. Like, give me something harder, give me something more emotional. And in the end, that's going to be what counts. I would love for someone who wasn't into dance music to hear, like, for example, this Quagga Live version and be like, oh, I love this. Like, I listen to this stuff all the time. And then all of a sudden they find out that it's just a version of an, a different original song. And then they hear the original and they're like, oh, I like this too. And then all of a sudden maybe they start liking dance music or the opposite. I hope it can open doors to some listeners and help people expand their horizons a bit and not really fall into this whole genre game. If there's some way that we can develop a live show concept with these alternative versions of my music, it would be incredible to try to organize it in a way where I can play it by myself with all my stuff around me. And I think it would take a lot of work, but it'd be amazing. <laughs>